Hello, good morning. I am Dr. Vishash. I am a doctor of this clinic. May I confirm your name in place, please? Yes, uh, doctor. Uh, good morning. Uh, I am Dr. Uh, Mr. Lex Luther, 24 years. Okay, so how can I address you? Oh, you can uh, call me Lex. Okay, Mr. Lex, how do you feel now? Well, doctor, uh, somehow it's going on. Actually, uh, I, you know that uh, I have been suffering from some tummy pain on and off. So I'm uh, somehow going on now. So uh, is it appropriate time to discuss about your condition? Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's, it's, it, this will just come and go, doctor. I have been suffering for, from this for quite a long time. So I'm, I'm ready to talk. Okay, I'm sorry to hear that. And uh, I am going to uh, discuss about your condition and all the information during your discussion will be remain confidential. So is that okay for you? Yes, doctor. It's totally all right. So can you please tell me in your own words, what is happening with you? Well, doctor, actually it's, uh, I think it's uh, around 10, 12 years now. It's a long history, doctor. Uh, just at times I feel some severe tummy pain. It's uh, at, uh, usually at my upper tummy, okay? And uh, it just comes all of a sudden. And uh, I, I usually go, at that time to my GP uh, to uh, have a look at what to know what's happening. So uh, they have actually, uh, they give me some medication. And also at times, uh, usually uh, when I have that tum tummy pain, uh, many of the, that times I have also uh, noticed that some, there was some uh, yellowish discoloration of my eyes. Okay. Uh, so this thing I have, just, uh, this is going on for quite a long time and uh, uh, our my GP has uh, performed some uh, blood tests on and off and almost all the time I think he has told me that I have some problem with my blood. Okay, with my blood. And usually my blood is less and, uh, uh, and uh, uh, I have also received some blood through my ch blood channels. Okay, uh, I think uh, six to seven units in my life. So that's what, and this pain doesn't go away usually. It stays. Uh, this this is not uh, every one or two months. I, I feel this pain. Uh, I am sorry to hear that. Can you uh, tell me exactly that? Where do you feel the pain? Can you show me the site? I think, doctor, it's uh, right upper tummy, doctor. And you you said that uh, this started about two, uh, ten to twelve years ago. Yeah, yeah. Doctor. Uh, do you think the pain is always on the same position? Doctor, more or less on the same position. Sometimes uh, around in the central part of upper tummy, but uh, more or less, uh, I think it is in that zone. Okay. Uh, and when the pain is such, how long does it persist? I think for one or two hours. Then it's... And it's actually a very severe pain, doctor. It just uh, comes in waves, this pain, and I just feel like... Uh, so much severe pain at times. I, I just feel like, uh, is, well, is there anything special to get rid of this pain? Can you tell me that how do you feel the pain or uh, what uh, feeling about your pain? Yeah, I told you, doctor, it's very severe. It just comes in waves, okay? Like, a, like a, a one wave comes, I just feel so much tired, hectic, with, and, you know, and sometimes I have to shout in the pain. And again, it goes and again comes the waves. This this states for this actually continues for around two to three hours. Does this pain go anywhere? Uh, sometimes I think three or four times I have also felt that it goes up to my shoulder, right shoulder. I'm sorry to hear that. And uh, when this pain comes, you state that you notice also the discoloration of your water work. Mm. Yes. Have you noticed anything else? Any uh, uh, feeling of throwing off? No, I have not felt like that. Any uh, changes in your bowel work? My bowel work has been more or less good. Any, have you noticed any blood in the bowel work? 
no doubt okay and uh, when the pain comes have you noticed any lump no doctor i have noticed any lump okay and uh, does this pain have any timing that when uh, does it come any specific timing or or it can come at any time i think doctor uh... whenever i i have some other infect infections like any runny nose or any type of infection or any raise temperature i think this pain actually increases okay and have you noticed anything that um, uh, brings your pain you said that uh, some runny nose anything uh, else like uh, eating some kind of food any special kind of food any way that is something thing uh, that uh, yes sometimes i think that uh, when i have some large meal with some oily food i think it 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 can it increases a bit any uh, in any way that sorry any specific way that well i have noticed doctor actually i have reside in such a hot climate country i have noticed have you noticed anything that makes the pain worse yes it all do so when i have some infection i think it it, it gets more and more worse And, and having this type of anything makes it better. Well, usually not, doctor. I have to go to hospital most of the times, and they give me some, I think, some uh, painkillers through my blood channel, and then usually I get better. Okay, and uh, if I uh, tell you to score your pain from one to ten, where one is the least severe pain and ten is the um, highest severe pain. How would you score your pain? I think I would score seven to eight. Okay, and uh, you also have uh, some you lose discoloration. And do you feel every time you feel the tummy pain? Many times, not every time. I think that many times I notice. Uh, any uh, raise or uh, raise temperature during that time? I I told you, doctor, that uh, sometimes it, it occurs when I have some raised temperature. All these problem occurs when I have some infection, some raised temperature. I told you. Do you have any uh, headache? Not now, doctor. Any changes in your vision? No. Any rash? Not rash, doctor, but uh, I think I have some at times I. I have had some several episodes of ulcers in my leg. And who is part of your leg? I think, doctor. Uh, I think it's it's my leg. It's a right leg or left leg. Both legs have been involved several times. Have you noticed anything uh, that uh, you feel pain uh, on your ulcer or uh, the ulcer becomes blackish? Sorry. Then uh, your ulcer become blackish, and you have uh, so much pain in your ulcer. Yes, doctor, I I feel pain in my ulcer at times. When usually this, usually all these symptoms uh, come one after another or at the same time. Okay. Any changes in your uh, skin? Any skin tightening? Uh, no, no, I have no. Any pain on exposure to cold? Well, I told you you asked it before, but I haven't been exposed to cold that much in my life. And how about your appetite? It's quite good. Any weight change? Have you noticed? No, doctor. Do you have any weather preferences? No. Do you have any uh, cough? Not cough, doctor, but uh, two times I remember when I had this type of problems. i also had severe shortness of breath and i uh, had to go to hospital at the same time and they gave at the same time pain killer and i had to take oxygen and also i think some antibiotics okay i'm so sorry at that when the last episode happened around um, 2 years back and uh, do you have any racing or pacing of your heart no do you feel any uh, frequent uh, Just infection or any uh, runny nose, any cough. So at times I told you that 
this uh, chest infection, it's, it's actually, these infections are increasing day by day. Uh, usually what happened five years back, for example, I had that, this type of infection only once or twice a year. But now I think during the last three or four years, I think uh, it has increased up to four or five times a year. Okay. And have you noticed any lumps or bumps in your body? No. How about your water work? Quite good, doctor. Any weakness at any side of your body? No. Have you ever had? No. Do you have any past medical history as uh, you are uh, being admitted so much time? Did you uh, have, uh, do any test? I think they did some tests, doctor, but uh, you know, I'm not that much uh, literate. I do research in a village. I don't know the details, but uh, I think they ran some tests, ran some tests and told me that I have some problem with the blood and uh, I, I might have to carry on with this treatment. Uh, I, they, told, they told me that, that at the village level, there is not so much well treatment in those, uh, those uh, for clinics. So they told me, told me that we have to, I have to continue it for a long time. Is blood taking or something like that? Uh, do you have any known medical condition? No. Can you show me your medication list? Uh, there is actually nothing, doctor. Actually, sometimes I take iron tablets, and uh, when I feel this problem, I usually go to the hospital, take some painkillers. That's all. And uh, uh, do you have any allergy to any medication? No. Do you take any over the counter medication? Well, doctor, uh, allergy. Well, doctor, one, one I have to, you know, to, to tell you one thing that once actually I had uh, some uh, problem uh, with my chest, and I think they gave me some penicillin or something like that. And I think I am allergic to that. They told me that. And I got uh, bad after taking that medication. Okay, well, I will point it out. and. Uh... Do you take any uh, water counter medication? No. Any herbal products? No. Oh, okay, I am sorry to ask, but uh, can I know that? Do you take any uh, blood cell medication or any IV drugs? No. Any of your family will have this type of condition? Well, when I asked my parents, they told me that actually, I think I maternal uncle had this and this type of problem with his uh, blood okay any history of sudden death in your family no any history of uh, death at childhood no uh, may i ask you a few more personal questions yes of course uh, do you smoke cigarette no doctor uh, do you drink alcohol? Uh, within the social limit, of course. And uh, what do you do for living? Doctor, I live in a village, I told you, and I am. Uh, I just uh, do some farming. Uh, do you need to expose to any uh, pesticide or any uh, chemicals? Uh, yes, doctor. Any late... Yes, yeah, doctor. I think uh, I think some pesticide I have to give at times to my field. Have you noticed that uh, this brings your uh, uh, symptom? I haven't noticed it actually, doctor, because I, I haven't uh, take care of that, taken care of that. Okay, that is not a problem. And uh, may I know that what is your concern? Well, doctor, actually, I have come after such a long time to the city. Who are here in this type of hospital to actually map out the plan? So I, the doctors have always told me that this will go carry on for life. So, what is this actually, doctor? Can I have any good cure or good treatment for this? I just want to know. Uh, okay, uh, actually, I am not quite sure. I need to examine you, then I could uh, give you the better explanation. But uh, at this point, I have some possibilities in my mind. That uh, there may uh, uh, is possibility of having that uh, your bloods are breaking down than the normal, so he, you are having those Hello? problems. Okay. There may be some uh, problem with your blood shape. 
this is a possibility and also mm. uh, there is another possibility that uh, you are uh, a farmer and you are may, uh, exposed to, maybe exposed to some chemicals so that uh, you may get this type of symptom okay, okay. and also as your uh, uncle had this type of symptom there are also other uh, possibilities that is uh, some chemicals that are being formed excessively in your body so i think uh, there are a lot of possibilities and uh, for this we need to run a few blood tests and after that we can give you the best explanation that what is happening with you okay doctor okay so uh, uh, what do you think that can i be treated uh, after the test results come i can give you the best explanation at this point i cannot uh, tell you exactly because i am not exactly sure what is happening with you well, doctor, uh, do I need admission? Uh, at this point, I need to examine you and uh, then I could give you the best explanation. I need to examine your uh, blood pressure, examine your tummy, then I could give you the best explanation. And I think you might need admission. Okay, doctor. that's all right. Do you have any other question? No, doctor. Thank you. Well, uh, can I, so what are your duties here? Okay, uh, for this gentleman, my differentials are uh, this is, can be a case of uh, sickle cell anemia, then can be a uh, case of uh, uh, porphyrin uh, metabolism abnormality. I cannot exactly remember. Uh, and also, I think uh, this can be a case of uh, late, uh, chronic late poisoning and uh, can be a case of uh, hereditary angioedema. Okay. Hereditary angioedema? Yes. Or is we can't okay, well, uh, okay, okay, okay. And also, well, I Well, but hereditary angioedema is usually... Cryoglobulinemia. Sorry, sorry. Sorry, sorry. I will also consider cryoglobulinemia. Okay. That's very good. Well, uh, what investigations can would you like to consider in this patient? Uh, for the gentleman, I will uh, go for the complete blood count to see anemia and uh, white blood cell count level, then um, uh, peripheral blood film to see any uh, type of uh, any where uh, any uh, uh, morphology of the RBC, then any uh, late dots or any abnormal parasite on the uh, red blood cell, then inflammatory markers like ESR and CRP. Then uh, I will also go for the liver function test, uh, renal function test, urine for routine examination, and uh, random blood sugar level. Uh, in the uh, meantime, I will also uh, go for the uh, um, uh, uh, immunoglobulins level and uh, Imaging test uh, like ultrasonogram of the abdomen and uh... okay, that's all right. Uh, well, I think uh, regarding that, you had uh, told me some TDs. I think you can uh, do some uh, specific tests like sickle cell EMA test, use in Marin test, I think, EMA test, and uh, that that's I think important. I just can't remember at this moment. For cryoglobulinemia, I think complement level is important and also hepatitis B, C levels, uh, viral status is, can be important there. And uh, for hereditary angioidema also, C1 esterase inhibitor level, I think, can be done. Okay. And uh, since you told about some porphyrin, I think urinary porphyrin urinary levels porphyrin. can be. Okay. Yes. Yes. And uh, considering that it's a sickle cell disease, if you consider sickle cell so how will be the management? Yeah, first, uh, educating and counseling the patients, then uh, some uh, non-pharmacological management, so like uh, avoidance of uh, avoidance of excessive uh, cold or any, uh, uh, any uh, uh, condition that provoke his uh, symptoms and also uh, involvement of the multidisciplinary team like a hematologist for his better management and uh, as he, if he have any 
history of uh, recurrent abdominal uh, if as the patient have a uh, history of recurrent abdominal pain so i'll go for the if it is a uh, 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 case on cholecystitis uh, recurrent cholecystitis or it is a case of uh, splenic infarction and on that i will uh, need to take a uh, surgical opinion for that okay okay that's all right uh, can you uh, okay uh, and any other Yes, uh, for uh, emergency management, for his pain management, uh, going for the opioid uh, uh, opioid analgesic, uh, maintaining of his oil hydration, and uh, also uh, uh, blood transfusion uh, to keep uh, his hemoglobin level uh, at normal level. And also, uh, okay. and also manage, uh, uh, management of his, any uh, signs of, he has any signs of infection. Yeah, well, uh, do you think that any profile access, anything is needed in this patient? Uh, for this uh, gentleman, uh, I think uh, profile access uh, with uh, some uh, pneumococcal vaccine. Yeah. Including the vaccine. Yeah. Okay. That was very much important. Okay. And another profile access, can you ever think of like the hydroxycarbamide or something like that? Uh, for long term use, yes, hydroxycarbamide uh, will uh, help to produce uh, more. Uh, yeah, uh, yeah. It will actually cause uh, more production of a hemoglobin F, okay, which will actually help to uh, reduce the sickling tendency. It actually hydroxycarbamide produces more hemoglobin F, and what uh, cause uh, what happens is that hemoglobin S has more sickling tendency, but when hemoglobin F is produced more, the sickling tendency actually goes down. Okay, okay. so. And so this is good for it, that okay and uh, okay well that, that this has been a very good uh, case presentation but okay. i just uh, want to you okay hello i i have question that for the gentleman uh will i uh, go for the uh, rheumatological conditions like uh some uh, thing like uh easily can we uh actually can we, we hello for it? hello hello yeah i can hear you yeah yeah can, can you please repeat for rheumatological conditions like like, uh, can I uh, keep SLE for this gentleman? SLE differential. Yeah, you can. Yeah, yeah, you can uh, why not? You can keep uh, abdominal pain. Uh, I think uh, tummy pain, uh, abdominal pain can occur in SLE. Vasculitic feature can occur. Okay. Can't it? I think you can tell. And uh, I, I think you can. But uh, there are some points, actually, I, I would like to point out that you missed, okay? Uh, two points specifically, I think. You didn't ask about joint pain. You missed that point. Okay? Yes. And uh, when you asked about joint pain, I would have told about the symptoms of dactylitis. So that is very important. Okay? Mm -hmm. In sickle cell disease. There is, there usually is dactylitis because there is painful vasoclusive crisis. There is severe pain and there is severe swelling in the fingers. Sometimes deformity. Okay? So I would have told you that. Okay? And... Uh, Around about the calf, I actually told it myself that there are some problems about it. Okay, uh, some repeated chest infection. Sometimes there were severe. That's very. That's another point. You missed another important point. I think that examiners would have to listen. Would like to listen about it. Any severe pain in the private parts? Private Yeah, yeah. I, I, I just, uh, I just uh, 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 remembered what I forgot to ask. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I think when you had asked about these points, like any joint pain and how about the joint pain or detailed thing of joint pain and about any uh, pain, severe pain in the private parts. I think the diagnosis would have been much more straighter, straightforward. Yeah. I think so. Okay. Painful because really. these points are, yeah, yeah. Because these points are very, very uh, specific because like uh, priapism, it's, it's just occurs in leukemia and uh, this, this, uh, this thing. And then uh, I think, Leukemia wouldn't wouldn't have been much more possible case in this patient, but uh, sickle cell would have been much more possible. Okay, yeah. and legal sir, legal sir, I told it myself, but I think you should have asked about priapism and dactylitis. These these two things had been very much much helpful to you. Okay. Yeah. Yeah, and uh, otherwise the case has been good and uh, very good, and uh, I I uh, so what about what occurs is that I. Uh, you told very good, well that uh, what about the symptoms, 
where is the symptom so i think that there is some pain gallstone pain okay so i i, I actually told that colicky pattern that it comes in waves and very severe so so that was all right uh, and then you asked about blood transmission that's very good but in, in the treatment option you can also tell that when any stroke feature is present or not we can go for exchange transfusion you can also tell about that okay hmm. if if any times he can ha he has any stroke feature i think exchange transfusion is an option so these three options i think should be told in the treatment part like we can use hydroxycarbamide okay we can we should use some prophylaxis considering his splenic function and we might also consider for transfusion exchange transfusion if any stroke features are present okay hello yes hello yes yes, yes yeah, yeah. okay so that's all i think do you want to add anything uh i wanted to add just thing that complement deficiency is there any complement deficiency that can present with in this way i just uh, i cannot remember much about this so i just no no i think triglobulinemia is associated with complement deficiency i i, I as far as i remember okay and uh, you think you told about triglobulinemia as a dd i just for that reason i told you okay hereditary angioedema can i think be associated with c1 esterase deficiency i think and triglobulinemia i as far as i remember there are some complement uh, problems c2 c4 like that Okay. For, for this patient, uh, is there any chance of uh, developing mesenteric ischemia? That this type of patient. Yeah. Yes. Why not? I told uh, because I, I, as far as I know, it can occur. Because, okay. Uh, there, Does this patient need any anti anticoagulant? I am not sure about that anticoagulant. I haven't uh, read that. I read about that in the literature. Okay. I am not sure about. Hematologist, so I am asking. <laughs> no, no, no. I am not a hematologist. <laughs> I'm just okay. Uh, Fine. Okay. So I think that that's all okay for today. For 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 this case.